What's going on guys, Aldrin Astacio here with FlightPath.com. Now in this video, I have the Insta361R Aerial Drone Mount Kit. This one is for the Mavic 2 Pro. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the initial setup and assembly. And I was also able to get out real quick to just test out what happens to the Mavic 2 with GPS. Do you lose GPS? Are you only able to fly in attitude mode or ATTI mode? What does that really mean? So we'll go through that initial setup and I'll show you exactly what I was able to see on my screen. Also how I was able to actually launch with this thing up in the air. But as far as the post-production and some of the editing goes, the software right now currently doesn't support the aerial version of it. They are gonna be coming out with that very soon. I was able to bring it into the older version of Studio just to see exactly how it's stitched and how it works. And actually it does work to an extent, but they did tell me that there's gonna be a new aerial portion on the software for me to wait for. So once that comes out, I'll definitely do a lot more editing and showing you guys a lot more footage I'm able to get with the Mavic 2 and the Insta361R aerial kit. And if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Aldrin Astacio. I do a lot of drone tech tips, tutorials, and product reviews right here on this channel. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing and also hitting that bell to be notified when I post new videos. Now Insta360 sent me this early production unit of the aerial kit. The only thing it didn't come with was the lens guard. Now this is a lens guard that you would use on the handheld camera. It's very similar for the aerial version. It is going to go just on top just like that but this isn't the same one. Uh, that's the only thing that didn't come in the kit for this one but of course it will come in the final production kit. All right so let's get this thing installed. I'll just quickly show you exactly what else it comes with. They have the bottom bracket right here which is going to go on the bottom side of the Mavic 2 Pro and then we have the top bracket right here which will then sandwich in between there. So those are the two main pieces. We have the bottom bracket, which is gonna hold one camera. And then we also have this top bracket that goes on just like that. And as far as the camera system goes, we have the main camera portion of it and the screen right here. And it has the two lenses. Now, what's nice about it is that these two lenses are exactly the same as you have on the regular handheld version of it like this. So it's really the same camera system, but on the aerial version, it's split. So you're now able to split up and separate those two lenses. So you have one on top and one on bottom. But what's cool is that if you bought the aerial version of it, it actually does have this and it does have the mounting system here. The only thing you would need to buy now is this bottom battery. And then you have a regular 360 rig that you can use as your handheld action camera. And you can also buy the lenses like the one inch and the 4K lens separately. So at least you have a handheld version of it if you bought this aerial kit. We have the two screw mounts that hold the brackets together. We also have a 360 lens cover. So if you are transporting it, you're able to at least protect it with this. And then you have this bracket that goes on top of this mount, which brings power from the battery side all the way into the camera side. So that's accessories that we have, except for the lens covers, like I mentioned earlier. So let's put this thing on. I have the Mavic 2 Pro right here. And I've actually done it a few times. Uh, it's actually easier sometimes if you take off the props and then put those on the side so that now when I put it back down, I'm able to put the props back in the right order. What I like to do first is put the bottom bracket. So the very bottom bracket has a couple of hooks. There's a hook right here, which is gonna go right below the lens right there. So all you do is hook it on the bottom, place it up just like that. So it'll hook on the very bottom. There's a little notch on the very front and that notch is gonna go where this little triangle is. There's a little tiny triangle here on the arm. So when you open up that Mavic 2 Pro arm, there's a little triangle in there and there's a notch on this thing where that's gonna slide right into. Put that arm inside that notch and you'll hear a click just like that. And then just to secure everything down, two screws hold it and keeps everything nice and snug together. Pretty simple, there's a little hole right here so you're able to press that power button on the inside and the mount is now securely on, does not move, does not shake because of the fact that there's clipped on top and also clipped on the bottom and then you also have these screws here to sandwich the back together. Now at the very bottom here is where you're gonna be connecting those two cameras. So the camera system is gonna hook up here which is being transmitted through to this portion as well as when you plug it in here, it'll transmit down to here and both of those will then plug in directly into the camera. Slide that with the screen facing out and then it should slide right into those plugs. 
And once you put that in there, the door on the battery, you're gonna need to remove. I actually thought it was more difficult than it really is. You actually just have to take the door off and just give it a small little pull and it comes right out. I thought it'd be like, not to cut it or something, but it's actually pretty simple. And now to connect the battery over to the actual camera. Now what this does is basically takes that battery power from this side, pulls it through here onto this, and then it'll power this into the camera. And there you go. Well, now we have that bracket that goes all the way across. So you have battery power right here. It's gonna go all the way across into the actual camera itself. And then now we have to install the cameras. Now before you install the cameras, what I like to do, because of the fact that the camera sits low and once you install it, it's gonna be touching the actual surface. So what I do is I just get a little lens cloth, put that down first, because of the fact that once you install the camera on the bottom and you put it down, it's actually gonna be touching that camera lens. It just slides right into this little cradle and then it also plugs in. There's a plug at the very bottom, just like that. Now the top one's in and then press it down clicks in. All right, so now the bracket is on. We have power going from here, this side, all the way to the actual camera. So let's power this up right here. And there you go. So we are live right now. What's really cool is that even, even though I'm in the studio, I can't really see much, but we have the two cameras hooked up here. And on this screen, you're able to scroll through all the menu systems and you can actually see a live preview of what those two cameras sees and it's already all stitched together which is really cool. Now that's all powered up. Let me show you exactly what I was able to see in the app when I took it up for my first flight. Now one of the reasons why you might want to use a rig like this is to get some unique type of perspectives, very similar to how a lot of the FPV flyers recently have been getting them with their race drones. Now this rig isn't here to replace that type of flyer. Of course, this is more of an alternative for those that aren't as skilled for FPV flying. If you really want to have the most immersive type of footage, you're going to want to learn FPV flying as well as using the action camera on top of that, taking that footage into post and something like After Effects, Premiere, Final Cut, and putting some software on there like Real Steady to make it smooth out. Now, fly Flying FPV drones is a very highly respected skill. It is incredible what they're able to get with it and how much control you really have with it. Here, we're just able to do some basic maneuvers with this and then of course reframe the footage in post in the Insta360 Studio. And I'm actually here at the park with a bunch of my FPV racer friends and we just want to test it out, not get anything extreme because we don't know how this is going to react. How's GPS gonna be? How's the flight characteristics gonna be? How am I gonna take off and land with this thing? So we wanna get all those things kind of dialed in first before we really take it out into any extreme conditions. All right, so right away, I'm looking at the app and it is directly in no positioning Addy mode, which is attitude mode. So if you're not familiar with attitude mode, basically it means you don't have a GPS lock. So even though we're outside, ideally this is where you're gonna to wanna to be to get a GPS lock but because of this type of rig on here, it is now covering up the GPS signals, so you're not able to fly in GPS on the Mavic 2 Pro. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, basically, if you don't have GPS locks, so most people buy these drones to have GPS locks so that you're able to stick it up in the air, let go of the sticks, and it'll just sit there and hover. But here, we're blocking the GPS with this rig, which means it's gonna be in attitude mode, which is all manual, so, if there's any wind, any environment changes, this drone will actually drift with it. So you as the pilot need to actually handle the sticks and manually fly the drone without GPS. Do it in auto takeoff. All right, so here we go. It is now all in attitude mode, which means I am flying it and as you can see here like i talked about if i let go of the sticks right now because we're in attitude mode if i let go of the sticks right now which i will do you'll see it automatically start drifting here because of the light wind now for anyone that wants to buy this and you know ideally wanted to just sit there and hover uh, this rig is more than likely not going to be for you this is all manual controls now. We are in attitude mode. So everything you're doing now is based on you controlling the sticks. So just know that and uh, fly at your own risk at this point. So here we go. Let's do some basic shots, do some basic maneuvers. And ideally we should be able to get some stuff that we can use in post that uh, we'll be able to reframe. So let's go.
And here's a quick snippet of me testing out the footage from the Insta360ONE-R on the Mavic 2 Pro. Now, I wasn't really trying to get anything very cinematic at this point. This is just me taking the footage from the drone and seeing exactly what I'm able to play with in studio. And like I mentioned, there's a bunch of things that were missing in the initial beta release of the studio for Arial Edition. Things like transitions and easing were not activated yet in the app. So I'm really just kind of moving the frame around and showing you guys where I have my keyframes. But like I said, once the update does come out, I'll be able to take this footage back in, add in some of those transitions and easing in here. That way everything will be smoothed out. Here, I'm just kind of testing out everything and seeing what it can do and how smooth the stitching was in the app. All right, so that was just my first flight and everything went well, well enough. I mean, from my very first flight, not knowing what to expect. Uh, what's interesting is that midway through my flight, it actually switched over to GPS mode where now I had 10 satellites locked onto it. I would probably never rely on GPS mode because it was switching in and out from GPS to attitude mode. I would more than likely always assume it's gonna be in manual or attitude mode while you're flying this thing. And there it is guys, just the first video of the initial installation and setup of the Insta360 ONE R Air version for the Mavic 2 Pro. And like I said, I'll have a follow-up video showing you some of the examples of video I was able to capture with this thing once the Insta360 Studio desktop version gets updated. So if you guys do wanna see that, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and turn that notification bell on so that you guys know when I do post new videos to this channel. And as always, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I post new videos. If you guys want more drone content on the Insta360, make sure you guys check out the links above as well as down below. And also check out my playlist on some of the other new drones that have been out there, such as the Evo and the Mavic Mini. This is Alter Sasio with FlightPath.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.